one of the vessels responsible for the functionality of the vast and sprawling infrastructure of Frank Herbert's universe of Dune is the massive spaceship called a Highliner. In this video, I'd like to discuss the lore surrounding these Highliners, as well as the role these massive vessels play in the Dune saga. Set some 20,000 years into mankind's future, at the beginning of Frank Herbert's story, an organization known as the Spacing Guild owns and operates several of these Highliners, as they hold a monopoly on the only safe and efficient means of interstellar travel. Because of this monopoly, the Spacing Guild wields significant power and influence in humanity's interstellar empire. The transportation of people and products from one star system to the next is accomplished through the use of the Highliner's Holtzman engines. These are the special space-folding engines which enable faster-than-light travel by allowing a craft to successfully navigate through folded space, moving almost immeasurable distances in the blink of an eye. During the early years of the use of Holtzman technology in space travel, before the advent of Guild Navigators, the use of the Holtzman effect for space travel was not always safe, as one in every ten ships traveling in this manner disappeared. Eventually, the Spacing Guild was able to eliminate this hazard with the guidance of their navigators, also known as steersmen, who were able to identify a safe course through their prescient foresight, which was unlocked by ingesting vast amounts of the substance known as Spice Melange. For more information on prescience, guild navigators, and the Spacing Guild, be sure to check out my videos on each of these subjects. Links will be in the description below. Although her husband was credited in the history books, it is revealed in the book God Emperor of Dune that the genius scientist Norma Senva was the actual designer of the guild ships. In the expanded universe, it is established that she was also responsible for the development of the incredibly complex Holtzman engine, along with several other inventions such as glow globes and suspensors that were later incorporated into many staples of civilized life. It is also detailed in the Dune Encyclopedia, as well as in Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson's Expanded Universe books, that Norma played a significant role in laying the foundation for the Spacing Guild itself and use of navigators in part due to her experimentation with Spice Melange. The Holtzman engines that Norma Senva designed are given their name due to the work of Theo Holtzman, who pioneered a branch of theory relating to the repellent force of subatomic particles. As such, many of the discoveries and inventions involving this area of physics are named after him, since they are based on the Holtzman effect. During the events of the Butlerian Jihad, a war which resulted in a universal ban on the use or creation of thinking machines, Holtzman engines were often fitted to conventional spacecraft, replacing the old, faster-than-light engines used by the League of Nobles. While it was at times used to travel between star systems, the old conventional method of FTL spaceflight, described as outracing photons, was used mainly for travel within the confines of a star system. Even after space folding came into popular use for interstellar travel, many Imperial warships still maintained their old FTL drives as an alternative to the faster but less reliable Holtzman engines. After the Spacing Guild was able to secure their monopoly on interstellar travel, Highliners became the primary means to transport people and equipment across the known universe. It is during a conversation between Paul Atreides and his father Duke Leto that a few more details are revealed about these ships, as Leto says, quote, A Highliner is truly big. Its hold will tuck all our frigates and transports into a little corner, will be just a small part of the ship's manifest. He also tells Paul that part of the price that one has to pay for guild security is not being able to leave your frigate. He remarks that their enemy and rival House Harkonnen could have ships right alongside them and they'd have nothing to fear, as both sides wouldn't dare to endanger their shipping privileges. If a great house such as the Atreides or the Harkonnens were to draw the ire of the Spacing Guild while on board one of their Highliners, it could easily lead to the elimination of that great house from the Landsrad. Highliners are immense in size, measuring upwards of 20 kilometers in length. While in a solar system, they will typically be stationed in high orbit above a planet, 
With no real need for propulsion while in space, these ships typically only travel by following a pattern of full jumps from planet to planet. Once they arrive at a new planet, the Highliner's passengers make their way on and off the structure through the use of shuttles and other craft, which are held in the ship's massive docking bay. In the Prelude to Dune prequel trilogy, it is established that Highliners are manufactured on the planet Ix, which is home to a race of people who are responsible for the creation of much of the machinery used by humanity throughout the universe. While the Great Houses certainly rely on these vessels in order to continue to thrive and function, the larger organizations of mankind also rely on them as well. The Combine Honet Ober Advancer Mercantiles, or CHOM for short, effectively controls all economic affairs across the universe, having a hand in almost all the products and goods that Guild Highliners will transport. This corporation heavily relies on the Spacing Guild and their Highliners to fill their transportation needs. Above all, the export and distribution of the highly valued commodity Spice Melange makes up for an enormous portion of the profits to be made from trade. While most of the images of the Highliners tend to consist of long cylindrical structures, a detailed description cannot be found in Frank Herbert's work, nor in the expanded universe. However, given the description of the vessel being 20 kilometers in length and their similarity to container ships found on Earth, it makes sense that the elongated cylinder would be a popular choice among the adaptations and artist depictions of these vessels. Interestingly, the Dune Encyclopedia, which was initially approved by Frank Herbert but has since been removed from official canon, states that highliners were of globular shape. I'm certainly glad that the author chose to leave a few elements of his universe, such as the design of the Highliners, up to the imagination. In the upcoming adaptations of his work, it will be interesting to see if these Highliners vary in design and shape, or if the creative teams that hold the rights to the Dune franchise stay with what came before from the previous adaptations of the Dune saga. Ultimately, these Highliners serve as a vital part of the infrastructure which mankind has come to rely on for its continued survival. A large lesson that can be taken from Frank Herbert's Dune Saga is the need for humans to avoid becoming complacent and reliant on a centralized infrastructure. Because the universe of mankind has become so dependent on the spice melange, as well as the methods employed to harvest and distribute it, any disruption of the spice supply lines would spell disaster, not only for the guild, but also for humanity in general, resulting in the death of countless billions. As the Dune Saga unfolds, we see the guild's monopoly on space travel through the use of their Highliners come to its end with the development of Ixian No Ships. These No Ships possess advanced calculation systems, eliminating the need for a guild navigator's prescient abilities to avoid collision with interstellar bodies. As mankind was scattered across the stars, they would no longer depend on a centralized infrastructure for their advancement and survival. This ultimately meant that the Spacing Guild's Highliners would fade from use. But I'm curious to know what you think of the Guild Highliners. Is there a particular design you prefer when you think about these massive ships? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Dune and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.